Hi, this is Eric Martin with Game Geek. I'm here with Hunter Shelburne from Steve Jackson Games looking at more tunes. More tunes, yes. Yeah, so. And if you could tell something, this is uh, based on a part comic strip, was it? Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a web, uh, web cartoon. So okay. it's, it's a fully realized, really hilarious little cartoon uh, about uh, these characters in the game and their uncle, Tio Rico, who uh, they've they just gone on adventures and stuff like that. In this game, you're trying to be, you're trying to lead your friends to the uh, Dia de los Muertos celebration. Okay. It's a leading game, as it were. So okay. uh, what you're trying to do, you have all these different characters. You have five different characters that are from the show. Uh, also, you did a book series, a children's book series that featured some of these. So if you have kids out there, you might recognize the characters from that as well. Mm -hmm. Art is incredible. I love it. Uh, the style is amazing. And each one of these characters, you'll have a hand of cards, you'll build a deck out, and some of the uh, some of the characters will be different leading rules, essentially. So, uh, like Rosita and Vivi, you just want to play the next highest number. Okay. Uh, but you might have Ruby, which has a fun little contest where everyone plays a card simultaneously from their hand. Uh, that has these nice little uh, uh, cheat handy cheat sheets here. Uh, Gabby, you get to play the same number or any Gabby card if you have, so you can play any of her on top of it. So you're pretty much just trying to clear your hand, but there are, if, if you can't, then you might, you might have to take cards back to your hand, essentially. So there's just a, there's a negative to it, but it's really easy to play, honestly. It's a pretty simple leading game, really good art, variable powers, which makes it a little bit different than normal. Plus, you've got a wild card that can kind of go on anything in there. Uh, so, relatively simple game. Uh, takes about 10 minutes to play, probably even less to teach it. Like, you pretty much learn the rules here. You just kind of have to cheat off of this occasionally right. to remember what they are. And pretty simple. The art's amazing. We're really excited to have that uh, IP to go with it, honestly. It's 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 super authentic. He's done uh, a lot of Dia de los Muertos art in the past. Again, the whole book series he's done, right. the cartoon series. It's uh, really really great okay. work with him. I mean, it seems sort of of a piece with Simon's Cat, just in the sense with the licensing issue with a fairly simple gameplay, just as an introductory thing to people who maybe they don't think about playing games, but yeah, it, they're it, like, hey, wait, there's this thing. Exactly. Take some of I'll your classics that you that you might you might know older card games that have similar aspects to them, but adds powers to them, adds a little bit of depth for kids and for adults who want something like Family Weight that you can play in 10 minutes or something for trips that you can play in 10 minutes right. or far. And it's a perfect size game for that. And uh, uh, relatively inexpensive too. It's um, yeah, uh, fourteen ninety five when it comes out. Uh, players here should we have a few copies of Gen Con, uh, but mostly September is where that. Yeah. Oh, you will have some in our Gen Con. Gen Con, yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll have in the future going forward. Okay. All right. So there you go. Overview of Mario Tunes. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you.